what is up guys it's K2 here also known as K2 Creative and today I have got a Adobe Illustrator tutorial for you and it's sort of a abstract patterned theme tutorial it's easy to do I've just rustled up a quick example here because I know a lot of subscribers like to know what they're doing before they watch the full tutorial so it's this sort of style um, I've got a colour theme going on but this is rushed uh, it's not like a set colour theme it's just one that I created quickly with like a, a bluish sort of theme uh, so it, yeah it's a pretty simple tutorial just follow the steps and you can't go wrong okay so we're gonna go file new and create a new composition we want this more portrait than landscape so we're gonna go width 320 by height 440 we'll just call this tutorial and uh, we'll just get into it straight away so you got your new composition here and we're gonna, gra gonna grab the line segment tool and we're going to draw a straight line down the left side of our composition. We're also going to hold shift as we do this to get the straight line. So from the top left corner down to the bottom left corner, we're just going to draw the straight line. All right. Now we're going to click the line and click enter. We'll hit enter anyways. And we're going to get the horizontal position to 20 and click the tab button and it'll just change the distance automatically for you and here you can see it creates the line um, next to it in I, I don't, can't really explain it, it's sort of an even even way so it just fills the composition evenly so there's an even space between all the gaps I'm going to click copy and we're going to go control D and keep on hitting D until your full composition is filled with the lines and we're going to do this again, grab the line segment tool and do it um, vertically instead of horizontally. And we're going to click shift again and across. Okay, we're going to hit enter and we're going to go minus 20 for the uh, vertical option, sorry, uh, click zero. I'm going to go minus 20, hit the tab button again and it automatically does it for you and hit copy and then I'm going to go control D all the way down to the bottom okay so it fills our composition with like a grid now so that's pretty easy to do so we're going to zoom out now a quick way to do this is hold alt and scroll with your mouse and now we're going to grab the line segment tool once again click shift and do it a 45 degree angle um, diagonally up so we're going to go we're going to make it fill the whole composition and you want it more you want the line longer down the left bottom side than up to the t line up on the top side to, to the right so just going to do this now and just do a line up click shift while doing this to get the 45 degree and we're going to click here well, we're not going to click there actually we're going to go we're going to go control y um and line this up line this bad boy up this just uh clicking control y puts it in um a sort of I, I can't I don't know how to explain it it just makes the line thinner and uh easy to do, easy to do and we're going to line this up so it is going so it's just on the corner bit there okay like there okay so you can see it's just in the corner wait there that's a bit off a tiny weeny bit it's important you get this right as well otherwise your triangles won't look as good um so oops can't really select I can't select it so this is gonna have to do here we go so we're just gonna line this up again here we go so it's just going diagonally across and splitting the grid into triangles and we're going to click this and it's important to click control Y again to get rid of this view and you'll see later on in the tu tutorial why and we're going to click this and then click enter again okay now we're going to go horizontal 
20, vertical 0, and leave the rest of the options. And we're going to click copy. Okay, so now what we're going to do, which we've done this a couple of times before, control D again to fill the whole composition with the diagonal lines to split it so there's a bunch of triangles. Uh, this is a bit time consuming but it's okay it's not that much time consuming but you know it's better than doing it the longer way which creating like a bunch of triangles and lining them up so as the composition is filled now we can click off it okay we're going to zoom out zoom right out and we're going to hit the selection tool and draw a box around it all and uh, zoom back in now so we can see what we're doing just move this across quickly and we're going to go windows and pathfinder All right, and bring up the pathfinder options and use the divide and basically what the divide option does is just basically gets rid of all the lines outside the composition and cuts it off and just you know focuses more on the individual lines in like the uh, composition and now we're going to create uh, we're going to select it again select all of them and right click and ungroup so you can select them one by one and you can see all the triangles dotted around uh, but it hasn't got an outline on it which is fine it doesn't really make a difference you can soon fill it with whatever color scheme you're wanting to achieve okay so from this point you don't have to do the whole composition you can just do say a quarter of it um because it might be a bit time consuming again doing all of it or you could make the composition a lot smaller instead of using the dimensions i'm using so once you've done this you've basically mastered it you've done um so you're going to come in on google and type in color lovers and this is basically just a website to browse a lot of um palettes and stuff and uh color schemes and I've just gone for this a a Avon inspired for uh, with a bunch of colors D you really want to do different colors instead of the say instead of, instead of like the same sort of colors like say a lot of oranges in a different uh, shade you just want to mix it up a bit so this is why I use this one because it's a lot easier to do it's really indescribable but to you to yourself you'll you'll uh, you'll see throughout when you start coloring it in and stuff so you've got all the options down here you know this and that and then uh, you can just say this one here the teal uh, you can copy that oh, shit control C and then come into this view and you can just create a little swatch here with a little square and you can fill this with the color there uh, down here And okay, and you just gonna do this. You're gonna create several ones of these down the side of how many colors you you're using. Um, I'm just gonna do this and color it all in, and then come back to you. So I'll see you when it's done. Hey guys, so I'm back, and I have just cut it down a lot. Um, I trimmed it, and I used the ruler to um, just make it a lot sh a lot uh, less less triangles, and then. Um, and then I just enlarged it because it's in an illustrator and vector images like this which you create yourself you can just enlarge in or shrink in to whatever you want and the quality still stays, stays the same so that's what I did and I just coloured it quickly using my colour scheme and it, it looks good it looks sweet okay so um, once I did this um, I took it into Photoshop so I file saved it as Adobe Illustrator file and then just swept it through into Photoshop and just did a couple of things to it okay so one thing I did is I sharpened it um, I'll just hide these layers now and um, just show you okay so yeah so I took the image and I duplicated it I came over to file other high pass and you want to see it so you can just just see the little lines there the little engravements and you want to click OK and you want to go to 
blending mode to linear light and change the opacity I mean it might not look it might not look like a lot here but when you're looking at it you can really see it gives it a really nice sharp and crisp look and I, you can just change your um, opacity to whatever you want I change it to about 55 56 56 will do okay and then what I did using Google I just grabbed a quick grunge texture to, what I typed in to get this was um, I think it was grunge noise texture and I clicked on the Google options as like a, a the, like a large image and uh, I found this one straight away and just took this in okay and I added the layer ops layer option as a soft light and changed the opacity to 64 just so you can see it and it looks really really good and then furthermore after that I uh, used a ruler and uh, I just added in creative here uh, I'll just click the uh, the eye here so you can so you can see all of these um, and as you can see it looks pretty good I haven't done a lot to the text I've just left it as it is but just put it in the boxes like that in a different triangle each to spell out creative going across and I use the ruler to uh, inline both ways so um, it like sits perfectly and uh, it's just like nice and straight so this is basically all I did uh, you guys once you do this tutorial please if you're stuck leave a comment or an inbox um, private message either on original free media or I'll be on my personal channel a lot more K2 Creative if you're not yet sub to K2 Creative I'd recommend to go over and sub to it because uh, I'll be doing a lot more things on there I'll be focusing a lot on there because I want to build my own subscribers um, and you know get liked for what I do also follow me on Twitter at Kelby underscore Edis I'll leave that in the description um, and subscribe leave a like on this video thanks for watching guys